Hey babe, so today I'm here to do a chit chat video. I have some things to fill you guys in on, some things I want to mention before you see a couple older videos and just a lot of different stuff. So I thought why not sit down and do a chit chat video, feels very appropriate. It's been a while, it's been a long time since I've done one. So if you're new here, new to my channel or my videos, I do these chit chat videos every once in a while just to kind of fill you guys in on life and what's going on and I don't show my older two kids so I kind of give you updates on them, but you will see them periodically. I just don't advertise it. So yeah, I just wanted to mention first and foremost about some older videos. Actually, first, let me apologize of the lighting in this video. I'm doing the best that I can work with here in my bedroom. You guys know I have like a LED light in my nightstand table lamp and then I have a very yellow light above me so it makes it look like I've got yellow walls and a yellow background but my face is like a combination of both so we're just trying to work with it because it's quiet in here and my family is actually cleaning the rest of the house so let's just let them do that right so anyways I want to talk to you guys about some older videos that are going to be going up before you see newer videos basically there will be two the first one you're going to see is a 39 week pregnancy update I filmed that, just never got around to editing and uploading it, and I just am going to go over the last, I think it was seven weeks of my pregnancy, because I think the last pregnancy update here on my channel is at 32 weeks, and I filmed it, and I gave you guys a bump shot, and I felt like there was enough developing in those last few weeks that I still want to upload it, especially even just for myself, but I didn't want to confuse you guys, <laughs> because I know i obviously uploaded a you know introduction to baby video and then after that you're going to see a day in the life where I'm still pregnant and I filmed that because someone wanted to see a day in the life before Lexi got here and then one after she got here and then be kind of close together ironically enough the day that I filmed the day in the life that night my water broke and the whole video I'm saying oh this this is probably going to be like our last normal day and it it was going to be for several different reasons but it actually ended up being our legitimate last normal day as a family of four so that was kind of funny and I'm going to upload that because you guys wanted to see it and also because I made it so why not upload it? So I'm going to be uploading those two. I'm still very much pregnant in those. And then we'll go back into kind of current day videos. Those two videos you should be seeing right after this one. I do have to upload three videos for the next two weeks so I can kind of get caught up in where I should be. The week after those go up, I'm going to be doing my birth story and then Lexi's one month post <laughs> her one month postpartum update, no, her one month update. And then after that, I'm going to be doing a collab with my friend Brady, again, with kind of a grocery video. And then the week following that, you'll get a one month postpartum update and a review that I will leave a little bit of a mystery, but I'm sure you guys could figure it out if you can put some things together. But yes, I wanted to mention that moving forward, that there's gonna be a couple older videos going up first, and then we'll go back into current day because I didn't wanna just put those out there and you guys be like, wait a second. <laughs> I'm sure most of you would get it, but you know, I still don't want to confuse anybody. If there are any specific questions you have around my birth story, if you kind of generally know it from Instagram, or if there's questions you have about Lexi, if there's questions you have about like postpartum, because I've shared a lot of my recovery on Instagram too, because it's been rough. But if you have any questions with those, leave them down in the comments and I will try to include those in those videos. But from there, I guess I'll just kind of fill you guys in on the other stuff that I mentioned the first time I filmed this video with which was how everybody was doing, you know, what we're doing. And when I filmed that, I think Mark had just gone back to work. He got two and a half weeks off with us, which was amazing. It's the longest he's ever got with any of our kids. He went back to work and it honestly hasn't been as rough as what I thought it would be. For some reason, I was just getting the gist I don't know, it just must have been reflecting on how much help he is when he's home, you know, in the morning with me and Lexi, I could just worry about her. And he was getting the girls ready for school, getting them breakfast, getting them changed, getting them dressed, doing their hair, like everything. And I was like, there's no way I can manage that on top of what I was already doing with me, Lexi, pumping, nursing, like whatever. And I was really scared to just 
go right into it and it honestly wasn't as bad i'm not gonna say that it's not hard that it's not rough that it's not tougher than what we were doing because it definitely is all of those things and we've slowly just been trying to find our groove with it we're nowhere close to finding that groove but each day does get a little bit closer to doing it so yeah we've been doing that and the girls are in preschool so it is going to be sophie's last year of preschool and it's remy's first year of preschool and it's made for lots of emotions and from what i hear from their teacher because i think we're going on about a month of them being in school so far they're doing really well they do hang out with each other a good bit from what i hear but remy is okay with going off and doing her own thing whereas sophie is a little bit more attached to her sister and doesn't want to do things by herself which i think is kind of i don't want to say funny but just kind of in interesting to me because i was there last year volunteering while Sophie was in school and she was very much independent. She honestly didn't hang out with just one person and kind of attached to them and didn't want to do anything without them. She would very much float around, you know, make friends that day with whoever and just kind of, you know, do her own thing. And I'm sure it has to do with her sister. I'm sure it has to do with also having another little sister that she's probably a little bit more attached to Remy but I just found it super interesting because Remy when we go out places can be a little timid and shy without Sophie but here at school she obviously is comfortable enough to where she's doing her own thing and she's okay without Sophie but it's not always the same case vice versa so yeah they're doing good and as far as them adjusting I feel like I'll do a completely different separate video on like the adjustment from two to three kids at home and how they reacted and kind of give you guys more in-depth info and a little bit later down the line like we're not even a month out yet so you know we we still the jury's out you know how this is gonna go i still think that there's definite time for you know them to swing completely the opposite direction but so far it's been really good there's no jealousy or anger or any kind of negative feeling towards Lexi if anything we have to encourage them to not love on her quite so much because they want to do it at all hours of the day no matter what's going on with her even if she's trying to nap we just want to smother her with love and sometimes we have to encourage loving from afar <laughs> because as luck would have it lexi actually seems to be the kid who's most sensitive to sound like with both sophie and remy they would kind of sleep anywhere and even with remy it didn't matter how loud sophie was she would pretty much sleep and it's still true to this day remy is our most sound sleeper she's the one who loves sleep the most and because of that she would just kind of sleep through anything and everything and she still does but with lexi she does have a tendency to wake up and just kind of stay up if it's too noisy and it's not even just the girls it can be going out to the store i have to put um it's actually right here my mom got this for remy and we did not need it because she would sleep through anything but my mom got this um i think it's cloud b yeah cloud b brand little giraffe and it can go inside your car seat it's got a little velcro strap and it can make white noise along with other like nature sounds i believe but I put it on white noise and I put it in her car seat with the canopy down and that helps a lot when we're out but it doesn't really matter who's making the noise if there's noise she's kind of going to be up but yeah we've just been trying to encourage like quiet time and giving baby space sometimes and that's kind of been our biggest hurdle because they want to help so much because they do want to be around her because they do want to hold her and kiss her and love her and like have a lot of interaction which is also kind of brand new to mark and i because when remy was born sophie couldn't have cared less if she was a bag of potatoes or an actual sister it didn't make a difference to her it was all the same she really didn't care and it was only like far and few between moments that she would actually like I think it would click that that was her baby sister so it's new having children who are like aware of what's going on and aware that this is their sibling so we've just all been trying to navigate that and as far as like them I feel like they've been doing pretty good we have had some attitude issues and I don't think that it has to entirely do with Lexi I think it also has to do with age you know we're coming up on Sophie's fifth birthday Remy's gonna be three and a half and you know, I've got three girls, so it's not going to be the first or last time I address an attitude issue. 
trust me I was a little girl I was a teenager I get it so yeah we are kind of trying to work through that the best as possible and figuring all that out because it it's kind of a I don't know how to put it I wouldn't say it's necessarily new my children have always had a little bit of attitude um, but the directed attitude like intentional on purpose like no better but still gonna do it kind of attitude that is new to us so we're trying to figure that out and I feel like we've been making some progress it was a lot worse like a few weeks ago that's when it really kind of peaked and now we're kind of working through it but yeah we are slowly starting to figure that out and that's basically how everybody's doing right now we're just kind of getting ready for you know everything coming up mark has his birthday on september 30th i've got some stuff planned for that and then we also have sophie's birthday and birthday party in the month of october so i'm starting to get that ready because i didn't realize how quickly october was going to be here until i was talking to brady about our collab and we were trying to pick a day and i was like um how's october sound because apparently that's viable and that's coming up sooner than expected i don't know whenever i get into like this newborn phase when all i do is like stay at home i totally lose track of time so i feel like i've been in this hole and i'm finally starting to crawl out a little bit and i'm like it's october huh like okay that's right around the corner but yeah i want to make sure that i i've got everything situated i don't want to be scrambling especially with a newborn last minute with her party or anything to do with that so yeah, she is going to have a Little Mermaid birthday party. She loves Ariel, wants everything to do with Ariel, and that's what we decided on. So I've got a fair amount of stuff already bought for it, but I just need to kind of finish it up and also presents. And I also ordered Halloween costumes last night. We do two sets of trick-or-treating. My grandma has trick-or-treating at her camp, her campground, and the girls love going there. I mean, they go there different times throughout the summer and they know a lot of people out there so they get a lot of kick out of going as well but it's earlier in the month it's like the second weekend in october so we have to get our costumes a little bit earlier than most people and they went back and forth so many times this year over what to be we've gone through everything from toy story to disney princesses to things that i didn't even I'm so glad it didn't work out because it would have been so hard. And then we finally settled on being Incredibles. And Sophie's still kind of undecided as to who she wants to be. But her costume comes with the skirt to be violet, but you can take it off. So it looks more like Elastigirl because Sophie goes back and forth between wanting to be Dash and wanting to be Violet. So her costume actually works out really nicely because she could take the skirt off and be Dash and then put the skirt on and then pretend to be Violet. So I don't know. But does Violet even have a skirt in the movie? Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't even think Violet has a skirt. I don't think her or Elastigirl do. Either way, she can choose whoever she wants to be the day of because it's an Incredibles costume, so let her have at it. And Remy did pick a violet costume, and I don't think the skirt comes off of that, which now doesn't sound much like a violet costume because I'm pretty sure she doesn't wear a skirt in the movie. Either way, that's what they got, and then I did find this cute little onesie, which <laughs> I wish I'd got that onesie that we used to announce that we were pregnant in a bigger size now because she could have just wore that for Halloween. But it's newborn and I don't think she's going to fit into it by the end of October or even the middle of October in a couple weeks. I don't think she's going to fit in it. So I ordered her this cute little onesie but it has like a sewn on tutu Incredibles thing and it actually comes with a hair bow. And she is just going to be... I'm sure they'll call her Jack Jack, but she's going to have a tutu and bow on. I don't really care what they call themselves. We're just the Incredibles, and they can pick whoever they want to be that day, and it's all going to work out fine. If Remy wants to be Dash with a skirt, she could be Dash with a skirt. Just let them be what they want to be, but they're excited about it. And I think the key to figuring that out was getting something they all wanted to be together because they really do love doing that stuff. And so when they were separate things like things that didn't necessarily go together, we kept changing. Everybody wanted to be something different. But it was like, with everybody being Incredibles, all the girls being Incredibles, it was like, okay, 
we want to be this for sure, definitely. So I'm excited to see them all in their getup because I think it's going to be super cute. And I think it's also really cute because that's how we told them we were pregnant. So kind of came full circle, which is really cute. And I will actually show you these pictures. We took these just yesterday when Lexi turned four weeks old. And I'll kind of zoom in for you guys here. But if you watched our announcement video, we told the girls by getting them Incredible shirts because they were very much into Incredibles too at the time. And then we got a newborn Incredible onesie and we asked them, you know, like, what do you think this is for? And they were like a baby Jack Jack. And that's how we told them that we were pregnant is Incredibles. So we actually took photos yesterday of them all in their Incredible shirts that we had got for them. Lexi didn't open her eyes much, but she did for a couple of pictures. <laughs> you know, she obviously can't show a ton of emotion right now, so, you know, she kind of looked more just deer in headlights than anything, but it was super cute and, you know, to kind of see that come full circle. But yeah, that's everything that's really going on right now. I'm going to be having those updates pretty soon for you guys, you know, so you guys can be in the know of what happened and get caught up as well so we can start moving forward and into stuff that is like current day in the lives or favorites videos and stuff and it's not completely kind of out of left field for you guys. I just want to come on here, fill you guys in, talk a little bit about what was going on. But if you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always, thanks for watching.